one. Hey guys, Crypto Mike with the mic check. One, two, one, two. Is this thing on? This is part two of the perfect storm for XRP Ripple. All right. Before I begin part two, take a moment to hit the thumbs up, please. Hit the thumbs up for me, please. That really, trust me, that helps me out so much. It doesn't just help me out. It helps the crypto community out by pushing these videos out to more and more people who might not even know much about cryptocurrency or know about it at all. So when you hit the thumbs up and you subscribe and you notify, it's more, more about the thumbs up and the view time that that prompts YouTube and the algorithms that that run it to push the content out to YouTube viewers more. And we want more and more people to know about this, right? Because that means, you know, more crypto adoption. All right, so thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can keep getting updates on the newest crypto news. All right, guys, sincerely, Crypto Mike. All right, here we go. Okay, I, uh, I left off. Let me see, in my last video, part one of the perfect storm for Ripple XRP, talked about Bearable Guy. Now he is more credible than ever, all right, because of the May 1st prediction that came true. All right, now the perfect storm includes the stock market crash, which is inevitable. It's going to burst out of a 10-year-long bubble. Money's going to go from the stock market somewhere else, maybe another safe haven, which uh, another safe haven asset, which would be usually it's gold, metals, it's, it's precious metals market, it's uh, low cap, um, low market cap, like penny stocks, it's things like that. Now, now that we've, you know, we've had cryptocurrency around for 10 years, only 10 years, that's a new asset class. It is going to explode, you guys, people. Oh, you guys, dude. We're so early into this. It's going to explode. Okay, this next bull run is going to be big, but the one after that is going to be huge too. This one's going to be huge. The next one's going to be humongous. All right, so the recession's near, you guys. Inverted yield curve always is a signal of a nearing recession, okay? And that, that's what's happening now. We have an inverted yield curve. The average inv in inverted yield curve brings a the top of a market within eight months, okay? Signs of economic turmoil, okay? People are late on their auto payments in record numbers. Retail sales are dropping. Mortgage payments, people are late on those, okay? Oil prices are likely to rise, which means, and, and they're likely to rise because of the Iran sanction waivers being cut off by, by Trump, all right? Um, and that, when oil prices rise, the, incur the currencies of the nations um, are, are going to rise. So basically, oil prices rise, um, currencies rise, the inflation, which means they get weaker. Okay, President Trump is constantly pressuring the Federal Reserve into quantitative easing, which means they're going to print more money. Okay, they're, the Federal Reserve is dovish now. Okay, which means they're going to, they're most likely going to print more money which is inflationary for the USD, which makes it less valuable, makes the buying power less of the USD. People aren't going to want to hold it because why would you want to hold something that gets less valuable over time? Okay. They're going to sell it into safer, less inflationary assets. Okay. Usually ones which have been ignored by a majority of investors for a large period of time. Okay. Three things come into mind, gold, silver, and cryptocurrencies. Okay, especially cryptocurrencies, guys. Cryptocurrencies is a very exciting space. People are going to flood into it. They know the stock market, the people who have money, they know it's at a bottom right now. They know the storm that's going to come. Okay, the cryptocurrency space is an unprecedented form of asset class. Okay, one that solves many problems in the financial world. Ones that have never been able to have been solved before. We're able to send money from one side of the world to the other in a matter of seconds, especially with RIP, Ripple XRP, okay? And the, the fee is less than a penny, all right? Can't get Betty any better than that. Actually, it probably will, but it there's nothing that gets better than that right now. Nothing, okay? Okay, there's the only other ones that compare, and I'm not going to say. I'm not even going to say. 
because this one, this video is about Ripple. Okay, or you know, I am gonna be fair. I've sent Digibyte. That's that's a low fee. That's very quick. I've sent uh, Stellar XLM. That's low fee and that's very quick. Okay, those do compare. Okay, but Ripple is partnered with a lot of banks, guys. They've got their, they've had their foot in the door for a long time. Okay, this is the rise of fintech financial technology. Okay, here we go. So now, oh, what I was gonna say real quick. Look at the last. Look at the last recession. This is the gold chart, okay, to USD, okay? People bought, bought, and bought. They bought up gold, okay? It was a safe haven, safe haven asset because the USD became less and less valuable, okay? People were scared to hold their US dollar. It was a big recession. We're headed for an even bigger recession. Now, this is the formation we're in. I see it as bullish because we're going do 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 still coming from coming up okay this was not supposed to happen because we weren't supposed to have the big great depression or the recession so the next one is going to be even bigger so we're going to have an even bigger influx in gold buying especially since russia china india all the nations are buying gold okay now uh let's see now the reason bitcoin bitcoin will be bought up that's for sure now, XRP is better, okay? In my opinion, and a lot of other people's opinion, XRP is better because it's faster, it's cheaper, and there, there's a bigger supply. Um, it's a better store value. It's just going to be used. It's gonna, The utility is there. That's the biggest thing right there, the utility, okay? Money, BTC, cannot sustain its place as a useful cryptocurrency beyond being a store of value, okay? They say it's digital gold. I don't know. I mean, it might be for the time being. Ripple's going to surpass it. I guarantee it. Okay. Money will flood into cryptos with real world utility. Okay. Money's going to go into cryptos that are being used, that can be used for something. The only ones I can think of right now, like our XRP, Stellar, um, VeChain, you know, um, even Digibyte because it's so fast and so secure. So and that the chance of 51% attack, and that's another thing. XRP doesn't, you know, you, you can't attack it 51%. There's no double spending. Backed by an impressive and transparent company. They are transparent because they tell us what's going on. They tell us they, they are very transparent. More than Satoshi Nakamoto, right? We don't even know who that person is. If it's one person or two or four. Okay. So that concludes that. Now... People are going to flood into this. Look how low it is now. Why wouldn't they flood into the cryptos, crypto space, especially Ripple, because it has so much utility. It's so fast. The transaction fees are so cheap. It's going to be used by tons of banks. There's so many reasons, you guys, so many reasons. Okay. That's all I have for this video. All right, you guys, hold strong, hold strong. Don't sell. Okay, I'm more bullish than ever on XRP, all right? Now, like I said in the beginning of this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you like the content of my videos, okay? Or if you like cryptocurrency, I don't do just XRP. I do all sorts of cryptos. I do, I'm, my scope is very wide, okay? Hit the notification bell if you want the latest updates. And don't forget, Crypto Mike is my name. Cryptocurrency is my game. Okay, Mike check out.